Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create an out of frame effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by creating a selection using the rectangular marquee tool. Next, click on select in the top menu, then choose transform selection. Adjust the selection as per your liking, then click on the tick button to commit your changes. Duplicate the background layer, then click on the add layer mask button. Use the control or command I shortcut to invert the layer mask. Activate the background copy layers thumbnail, then go to edit in the top menu and choose fill. Select color from the contents dropdown and pick a color of your choosing. Right click on the background copy layer and convert to smart object so we can apply a filter. Rename this layer to frame. Go to the filter menu and choose filter gallery. Select texturize from the texture dropdown and choose 200 for scaling, 6 for relief, top left for light and canvas for texture. Duplicate the background layer and drag it all the way on the top of the layer stack. Rename this layer to head and use the quick selection tool in the toolbar to select the head of the dolphin. Click on the add layer mask button, then click on FX and choose drop shadow. Select 100% for opacity, around 25 for distance and spread, and around 50 for size. Right click on drop shadow and click on create layer to extract the drop shadow on its own layer. Activate the drop shadow layer, then click on the add layer mask button. Select the brush tool from the toolbar and make sure the flow is set to 10% and the foreground color is set to black. With the layer mask selected, slowly paint inside the frame to remove the drop shadow. Create a new layer on top of the layer stack and activate the vertical type tool from the toolbar. Type in a text of your choosing, then use the move tool to transform, move and scale as necessary. Drag the text layer below the head layer and change the blend mode to overlay. Activate the frame layer, then click on FX and choose bevel and emboss. Select inner bevel for style, smooth for technique, 200% for depth, and 25 for size, and then click OK to exit. Bring in a curves adjustment layer on top of the layer stack, then bring the curves line up a bit in the highlights area and down a bit in the shadows area to improve the overall contrast. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.